Hey guys, Mrs. Smith here, and if you can see right here, there's Goose. He is here too. He likes to listen to my stories. Sometimes he likes to call out when I'm doing my stories. He, he thinks he can talk to you too. I tell him he's just a silly goose. <laughs> okay, so we are reading today The Berenstein Bears Faithful Friends. Lizzie Bruin was Sister Bear's very best friend. They seemed it seemed like they had been best friends for a very long time. Lizzie Bruin and Sister Bear had been through a lot together. Once they had a slumber party that had gotten a little out of hand. They were in a school play that time that Brother forgot his lines. They built their own clubhouse when Brother kept them out of his. They played dress up and dolls and rode their bikes and picked flowers and rolled down the hills and, and giggled. Sister was glad she had such a good friend. She could always rely on Lizzie to be there for her. They hardly ever fought or argued. Not, that is, until Sister started to spend more time with Susie McGrizzy. Susie was a new cub in town. At first, Sister and her friends didn't pay much attention to Susie. But then, S Sister noticed how lonely Susie was and invited her to play. From then on, Susie was part of Sister's little group. It's a nice thing to do. All of Sister's friends, including Lizzie, liked Susie. She was one more cub to spend time with and enjoy. But Susie was a little different than the other cubs. For one thing, she read an awful lot. And she was interested in different things, science, for instance. Susie invited Sister over one night to look at the, at the sky. Susie pointed her telescope up at the moon. Wow, said Sister, looking into the eyepiece. It looks so close. She could actually see mountains and valleys and craters on the moon. It was very interesting. One day, Susie asked Sister to go on a butterfly hunt with her. They took butterfly nets and went out into the fields. Sister caught a big yellow butterfly with black stripes. Susie caught one that had bright red and blue spots on it and long swallow tails. It was very beautiful. After they studied the butterflies for a while, they let them go, and the butterfly sailed up into the sky over the trees. They're so pretty, said Sister. On their way back, Susie and Sister ran into Lizzie and their friends Anna and Millie. They were all carrying their baby dolls. Hiya, gang, said Sister when she called, saw them. Susie and I were out catching butterflies. You should have seen the big yellow one that I got. Yeah, great, said Lizzie. Well, I'll see you soon, guess. Wait a minute, said Sister. Where are you all going? We're going over to, to my garage to play Barbie dolls, said Lizzie. Well, can Susie and I come too, asked Sister. Oh, it looks like you two are already pretty busy, said Lizzie. Come on, girls. And with that, Lizzie and her friends went on their way. Well, how do you like that, said Sister, hurt and angry. Who does she think she is? Come on, Susie, we'll play over at my house. Who needs them anyway? When they got to the Bear family's treehouse, Susie and Sister found Brother Bear and Cousin Fred getting out of their fishing ta getting out their fishing tackle. Lizzie and your friends were here looking for you, Brother said. I told them you were playing with Susie. Lizzie didn't seem very happy. That Lizzie Bruin, said Sister, annoyed. What business is it of hers who I play with? Well, I guess she's jealous, said Brother. Jealous, said Sister, puzzled. Sure, said Brother. She's been your best friend for years. You mean a lot to her. She's just worried that maybe you don't like her as much as you used to. Oh, said Sister. Well, that's silly. It was true that she liked her new friend Susie, but Lizzie would always be her best friend, too. What should I do, Sister wondered. Cousin Fred spoke up. You know what the Bible says. Wounds from a friend can be trusted. Fred liked to memorize things. What? said both sister and brother. What does that mean? Susie answered. She liked to memorize things, too. I think it means that when a friend who loves you hurts your feelings, you need to find out what is bothering her. Yeah, said Fred, nodding. And the Bible also says that we shouldn't stay angry with our friends. 
God wants us to make up with them if we have an argument. Oh, said Sister thoughtfully. I have an idea, said Brother. Fred and I were about to go fishing. Why don't we grab some extra fishing gear and go over to Lizzie's? We can see if they would like to go fishing with us. Great, said Sister. Susie grinned. They all stopped by Lizzie's garage on their way to the fishing hole. Hey, Lizzie, called Sister. Do you and Anna and Millie want to go fishing with us? Lizzie acted like she wasn't so sure, but Anna and Millie were all for it, and Lizzie didn't want to be left out. Soon they were all down at the fishing hole. Lizzie cast her line out in the middle of the pond and got her line into a terrible tangle. Here, let me un help you, Lizzie, said Sister, taking her fishing rod. I'll untangle it for you. Wow, thanks, said Lizzie. You're a real friend, Sister. I always have been, and I always will be, said Sister, giving Lizzie a hug. And together they picked away at the tangled fishing line. Okay. Here are some things to think about. How can you invite new friends into your friend group? How do you notice when someone needs a friend? Where do you notice that people need friends? Have you ever needed a friend? Have you ever felt left out by a friend? What do you think God would want you to do when that happens? Do you like to do different things with different friends? Name some things that you do differently with different people. Here are some things that you can do. You can design a constellation, which is a group of stars that make a picture. You can tape a piece of black paper over an end of an empty toilet paper tube, using a pin to poke holes in the paper in a design. Look through the tube at a light to see your constellation design. Maybe you could even do that with a friend, even if it's just over Zoom. Next, you could play follow the leader. Take turns being the leader. What a great thing to do with a younger sibling or maybe even an older one. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Have a great weekend.